Well, we got ourselves a breakaway, and it was a strong one today. It included the King of the Mountains jersey in uh, John Baronetier. Been in the break yesterday. He was determined to get Mountains points. And in fact, he secured that jersey again today. So we'll be riding that out tomorrow. A lot of options today. Um, so many different kinds of riders have the possibility of being there at the end. The problem was a sterling amount of climbs from around about this mark. And as you can see, it already claimed some prisoners. Uh, Lillian Karmjan was one of those that hit the deck. Quite a few more on the descent. With 70 kilometers to go, we came down into Lietzia, our finish, and essentially it was a um, reverse approach to our finale. We then had three climbs to contend with before we came back home. The last of which was a real dragger out of the second intermediate sprint. The man who went off and up the road was Michael Lander, but more bumps and bruises within the pack. Uh, put paid to a few. I don't think uh, Ethan Hater did take a tumble today, but he did um, quite a bit of work out front on behalf of his team, which badged him up as somebody who was not going to be contending the end. Michael Lander had thoughts of an intermediate sprint along the way, and in fact set off in fine form to take over those peaks and come down for the bonus seconds once he bridged to the breakaway. Had a bit of negotiation to do, a bit of PR work with the three riders who still remained out front, so he joined them to form a quartet and was allowed to take the final intermediate sprint of the day almost uncontested. Nonetheless, they were all to be tagged, and including, of course, this man, Baronetti, who'd done his job and knew that another, what, 15 kilometers or so of climbing was not really something he was looking forward to. And he's wise as well, because tomorrow there's a couple of early Category 3 tests that could offer him up some points, so don't be surprised if he's in the break once again. Lander did his job. There was a few others just uh, folding over, probing and testing what was going on. This is Kamian, who's taken a tumble earlier on in the day, just showing that he's still very much a contender for deeper in this race. Well, a few others just rolled over. David de la Cruz stretched his legs. Um, thought it would be uh, Luis Leon Sanchez for us, and us, especially with the descending that we've got. And we were busy contemplating who might be there or might not. Movistar certainly wanted an option. And Aaron Buru, after moving out, missing out yesterday and finishing in fourth place, uh, was determined to have a go. In his credit, is it's so much work throughout the entire day, but a late mechanical for uh, Danny Martinez, I'm afraid put paid to his chances and by the time all the hairpins unwound one man had what it took and that man was Ida Shelley just edging Manu Sobero of Jaco, David Godou of Groupama Francis de Jeu, one of the principals for